Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to take a look at the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. Here's a quick unboxing. Okay, so you have the standard Canon LPE6 battery, which is uh, easy to get a hold of. And in here, you have your instruction booklet with uh, your software and manual all on an SD card. And it comes with a full version of DaVinci Resolve, uh, the full version of that software. And of course, you have the power plug. This also will charge the battery when it's in the camera and then you have your worldwide plugs so basically wherever you are you should be able to plug this AC charger into the wall and that's about it after we pull the next little piece of cardboard there's the camera and that's how it comes it's not like any other product it's not in a bag but it was in pristine condition and uh, I have to say it is pretty lightweight um, I have this lovely 12 to 100 uh, Olympus uh, Pro uh, lens attached to the camera, which works really well. Um, it's really an incredible lens. If you just had the budget for one zoom lens, this would be the lens. So on the front, you know, all the buttons have a nice tactile feel to them. They don't feel cheap at all. Um, the camera is made out of a carbon fiber material, and it actually feels pretty good. It doesn't really feel as cheap as some other people say it is. Um, I will say, as you can see there, that that rear screen, touch screen, does get, does fingerprint pretty badly. So it does need some kind of screen protector with some kind of uh, anti-fingerprint coating applied to it. Okay, so let's talk about the button layout on the top of the camera. You have ISO, shutter, and white balance all within quick reach of the camera. You can also access them on the rear touch screen, but this is for quick shooting. Um, also, you have two uh, record buttons on the front, one on the body there and one on the end of the handle. And um, other than that, everything is really simple and laid out very, very well. Um, it's a very nice camera, actually. Uh, feels very good in the hand, and it's really lightweight with that carbon fiber body. It's a lot lighter than the prototype ones that I saw at a few of the shows. Now, something to be aware of, you see that vent there? Well, that's what cools the camera. There's a fan in there. And you see when I have my hand on the bottom like that? Well, it will get really hot. So that's how I like to hold the camera. But you kind of have to at least cup your hand so you're not uh, you know, generating so much heat in the body of the camera. So uh, something to be aware of. It does get the camera quite warm. I have not seen any overheating icons with the camera. Okay, I'm going to take a quick look at the menus here. So this is a Sony SD card that I like to use. This is one of their faster ones. And you can see in the camera you have your RAW and ProRes HQ422 uh, Light and Proxy. And I'll go more in depth with this in another video. So let's get back to shooting. So here is our shot set up. Now several things you can do here. So this is a... Um, this one here will actually uh, focus the shot for you if you have an autofocus lens. So I deliberately... Uh, set the uh, the focus off. So I'm going to go ahead and press this and watch this. It's going to go ahead and it will lock focus on the guitar strings. Also, this one here will set exposure. So watch here. I'm going to um, actually uh, totally underexpose the shot. And then this one here, this one will set the correct iris. So just by pressing that, it will give you a general exposure. Now, if you don't like what the camera does, of course, you can dial in well, you could adjust your ISO or your f-stop, of course, to set it to your liking. We'll just put it back to the default settings. But um, that's kind of the setting there. And then um, also you, you have all this information on the screen. So let's say once you're shooting, you already know you're at 24 frames per second. Uh, you already know all your settings. And um, you just want more screen. You don't want all this data. If you just swipe the screen like that, then you have no data. So you can go ahead and I'll just hit the record button. And then all you will see is this little dot here when you're recording and um, you can bring it back if you want or you can slide it away just like a smartphone also what I was hitting here is this is the tap to focus not something you're gonna want to do when you're shooting but you can do it so you can tap to focus there and then um, we'll stop recording and it's all pretty simple it's a very simple camera to operate like I said the menus are really simple um, you know, to play back your shot that you recorded, you just hit this one here, and your last recorded shot will come up, and um, you can look at it. On these function buttons here, the ones that I was talking about earlier, these buttons, I have this one set up, this one's set to false color, this one's set up to uh, 
the, the display a lot. And um, if you just want to see what your shot will look like also, and then you can set the third one to whatever you want. I don't even remember what I have this for. Oh, the, uh, I have the third one set to frame guides. So this one's set to 240. So you can see what the frame guides look like. And um, so you can see there, if you're shooting in 240 aspect ratio, you have your frame guides. You have your hand here. You can easily control all your different settings. You know, ISO uh, shutter, you can adjust that quickly just by pressing the button. Of course, your shutter, you're always gonna have that pretty much locked to 148. Uh, and then adjusting your white balance. It's pretty simple. Oh, there's one thing I'll talk about, a lot, a lot of people are talking about, is shooting stills with the camera. It actually will shoot a DNG still. And um, to do that, okay, let me get out of the, because I got the uh, that displaying. So how, to do that, you simply just press this button here. And there's no shutter click or anything like that, but say we wanted to shoot this. So I'll just go ahead and line it up there. You just press this button. And when you do, you see how that little icon there, it just did a still. It's right below the, where it's the AC charging. Uh, let me see, go do it again. It's not real tactile. You just kind of press it in all the way. See, it's shot another still. And I'll show you an example of those stills. They actually come out pretty good. Okay, so this is the DNG reference still, and you can see it looks pretty good. It's not bad. Um, it looks great. So that's a reference still. This is not a stills camera, but it is possible to shoot stills with the camera. Um, you know, if you had to. I mean, this is a beautiful lens that I have on the camera, and it does shoot, you know, uh, you know, a, a beautiful DNG st still. So it is possible to do that with the camera. Okay, so let's take a look at the connections on the outside of the camera. Okay, so on the top here, you have your microphone uh, input uh, and you have your headphone jack. And over here, you have a full-size HDMI. And then over here, you have your 12-volt power supply on the left there. And then on the top there, you have your, uh, that's your USB-C. And then you have your uh, micro or mini uh, XLR uh, audio in. And that's the connections on the left side of the camera. And now we're gonna go to the right side of the camera and look at the uh, memory card slots. So in the front there, you have a CFast card slot. And on the back there, you have your SD card slot. And um, it, it kind of goes together with a reassuring click. Um, it's got a nice quarter 20 on the bottom, as I talked about earlier. It seems to be reinforced really nicely. Um, there's the battery door. Uh, it seems to work fine. Now let's talk about batteries. So the camera comes with this, uh, get it out here, this uh, black magic uh, proprietary uh, Canon battery. And um, it seems to work for about 40 minutes. Uh, and I've tested some Canon batteries. They seem to last a little bit longer. So one thing is this is a great camera for the money, but be aware it does go through batteries quickly. So it is a battery kind of monster. All right, so let's look at the uh, front. There's a thumb wheel in the front. And what's cool about this is if you press any of the function buttons there, like the ISO, the shutter, or the white balance, and you're controlling those because you can, once you press that button, you can dial it in with that thumb wheel. Once you press it in, it defaults back to the f-stop. So then you're back to iris control and you can control your f-stop, which is really nice how they laid that out. I really like how it's laid out there. It's really, really nice. So guys, there's my quick look at the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. Um, I really like how it's paired with this uh, uh, Olympus 12 to 100 millimeter lens. It's an awesome lens. I'll talk more about that lens later. Uh, coming up at the end of the video, I have some sample shots. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit that like button and see you soon. Thank you very much.